top five question I get is, why am I getting strange lemons? Why am I getting strange citrus? Um, why am I getting citrus on only one half or one section of my tree? Why do I have these long branches, some with spines, others that don't? Um, because the rootstock is taking over. Citrus is grafted. That means there's one rootstock and the scion, the desirable fruit, is grafted onto that rootstock. The reason being it's going to be easier and it's going the plant's going to fruit faster and also that rootstock probably is more disease resistant than the rootstock of that scion plant. But if left unchecked, that rootstock can take over. Uh, sometimes that's all people have left. If you buy a house, um, or you get a heavy freeze and that top part dies, then the rootstock takes over and then the whole entire plant will just produce strange, large, um, they're edible, but they're not very tasty fruits. Now, this is telltale reason besides having some strange fruit is you're going to want to look down at the graft. The graft line is going to be this large sort of bulbous area. And if you see any branches coming up from below the ground or below that rootstock, uh, line, the graph line, you're going to want to cut it off. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if you see the citrus here, you could see this nice dark green, sort of all sort of even. And all of a sudden you have these random shoots coming up with thorns on them. Now this plant here isn't supposed to have thorns, but because the rootstock does, this one's growing up higher. Sometimes you'll have something called water sprouts where it's just these random long, fast growing shoots will come up and you always want to prune those as well. So it's not always uh, necessarily the rootstock, but if you search down, that's what you're going to have to do is travel all the way down. And you can see what I'm talking about here, that this is the graft line. Sometimes it's really hard to tell where the graft line is at, but generally it's where all the branches are coming out. And all this material here needs to be pruned off as close as you can to the trunk because that is the, the rootstock taking over and it's pulling energy out of your plant. So I'm just going to remove that one there and I'll continue with this um, and you want to remove it all. Now, here's the thing. If you notice this in the dead of winter, you do want to wait until temperatures warm up because all that foliage is protecting the plant. So if you have a good amount of uh, rootstock taking over and you prune it out, you're allowing that other uh, vegetation to be susceptible to frost. So just keep an eye on it, be aware of where it's at. And after the last chance of frost, go ahead and prune it out and your citrus will be much happier. Thanks. Thanks for watching.